I'm going to let you watch me struggle changing the rear brake pads on my Renault Clio 200. Five minutes into the job, I've got a hammer out, I deal. 30 mil. Bollocks, doesn't fit. Right YouTube, welcome back. Found a proper socket in the shed, 36 mil. Let's see if I can wrench it off. With all I've got, which is just a brain to bar. I might have to get a bit of scaffolding as well. I'm going to have to get the scaffolding on it. Maybe not. Cool. Alright, that's broke off. This is for entertainment purposes only, this video. It's not an instructional video. Second one I've had going like this. I wasn't even putting anything through it really. Look at that. It's just made really out of cheap rubbish. Still, it's got a lifetime warranty in it. It's going back. a proper paste so I'm just gonna put a copper slip on for now which is a pain. I clamp that, I clamp that because I let when I wind it back in I let all the fluid out of the brake nipple. It saves it going all the way back through the system, backwards through the seals. I get a good clean first. But I've got a G clamp which turns it clockwise and as I turn it clockwise it depresses it and winds it back in and the brake fluid comes out at the same time. <coughs> Ten times easier with a better tool. Now you just do up the nipple, and you lost mineral fluid because you've clamped it. In the past, I made a tool, a castellated tool, just to push the piston in. That was good for my bath. It wasn't any good for this one because it's just uh, just got two things to push in. But anyway, that worked. Oh. 
Oh, it's hard to film. <laughs> right, two hands. Sliding surfaces as clean as possible. Oh, here's a good top tip. If you take one thing away, take this away. When you want to do this, be really careful because sometimes that little bit there can pop out. And it goes down there. Come this far and what's happened? My handbrake won't work. So all I can think of is it's coming attached down down in here. I've got to attach it so I'm going to do these two, two um, screws. They're in there, so it's not that. It's a loose change, I think. Welded in there. So I worked out a few things with a G clamp. You can push the piston in so tight that it binds. So I've had to take the caliper off, press the uh, brake pedal so the piston came out, and then wound it back in again, just looser, so the actual piston came out. I've also found that my plastic coating on my handbrake is, uh, is coming off and that's causing it to bind a bit in here so I'm just going to take as much as I can off and I'll just copper slip that bit just so it slips in and out of there and now obviously I need to get some new handbrake cables but that's what I've learned so far for myself make sure the handbrake actuator is actually really loose but it doesn't look like mine's really really loose you see that's popped out there that shouldn't happen so a bit of lubricant a bit of tapping with a hammer and hopefully be free there's a little rubber thing which holds the uh, handbrake cable in place it's well it's, what's the word not corroded degraded so I just uh, got some wire the pliers and made it sort of stays in place so they've got to do the same as what the rubber so it's over engineered if anything so battlefield repair might put the wheel on go take it for a test drive well but it's all good now the handbrake works beautifully off for a quick test drive like don't like subscribe comment troll it's all good